Hi everyone, I'm Cinderay9 and welcome back to Let's Play Scribblenauts Unlimited as we continue through the stages with Lily. She hasn't got to go on the adventure because, well, the whole being turned to stone thing by uh, her, by uh, Edgar, the uh, father, so. We have one more shard. So I figured I'd, I'd play as, Li as Lily, and she can join in on the fun. And here she is with a uh, kind baby dragon. I'm hungry, but everything around here is alive. Hmm. Dead snake. Cause it's a vulture. No leftovers. <laughs> and that'll complete this stage. So let's start a new one. As we head to, say so we were gonna follow the tracks, we'll head to the Abjad Dunes. Sphinx? <laughs> Asking a riddle, I assume. Mime? What's a mime doing here? And a really fast turtle? What is going on here? <laughs> Hi. A vizier. I need to help my kingdom with this shape-changing potion, but I need three more venomous ingredients. Venomous, huh? Okay. Poisonous snake. Okay. Um, what else is really poisonous? How about a poisonous spider? We'll just throw that in there. A scaly tall skinny black vizier. Okay. And... Um... Just straight venom. <laughs> Black Colossal Asp. Shifty Snake. Hey, a prickly bear. Well, don't go, uh... Actually, do go and wish to become a genie, and then we won't have to worry about you. Anyway... Achilles seems to be catching up to the tortoise. But he can't catch him. If only I could measure this race, philosopher. Oh, is that Achilles? It's a legionnaire. And a really fast tor turtle. Like, a really, really fast turtle. Measure, huh? How about a tape measure? Solve the paradox. <laughs> Hi. That is a tall, thin mesa, apparently. I can't carve a monument to the pharaoh with just my bare hands. Of course you can't, Stone Mason. You need something called a chisel. <laughs> ah, it's the pharaoh. Better make it look good. <laughs> pharaoh's pride. Very nice. That's cool. What is it? Obelisk and Stone Pharaoh. That makes sense. <laughs> sand dunes, of course. There's lots of sand out here. It's a mime. I need to find a sand room. A sandworm. They're attracted to sound. <laughs> How did the mime tell me that? Do I, I just figured it out by his by his motions. We're gonna go with that. Attracted by sound, but you're a mime. Well, <laughs> that is indeed an issue. <laughs> um, how about a radio, a loud radio? That is indeed a sand. That's spitting out spice. Beware the sandworm! S spice? 
Uh, okay. Desert Raiders. Protect the village from the marauding bandits. Sure. Okay, Lily. Yeah, you did look really evil. The bandit emissary tells you that her gang is coming to raid the village's crops. Maxwell, or in this case, Lily, needs to recruit help. What? Why did the bandit emissary, I, I guess, is a warning? Well, joke's on them. <laughs> recruit someone to defend our village. Hmm, we're out in the desert, huh? Well, hmm. I already saw a. How about a big legionnaire? I didn't spell that quite right. A big legionnaire. <laughs> He's like, I got this. Wow, legendary swordsman. And a constructor? Oh, let's gear up! <laughs> now an engineer has come to the village's aid. Help him by building fortifications for the town. Big Legionnaire. <laughs> Big Spear. There we go. <laughs> engineer. Okay, we've got this. Big bow. Weapon. Take that instead. Gigantic wall. <laughs> Get through that! <laughs> there we go, we'll just upgrade this here. Wow, we have turned- Okay, we have turned this into a fortified village. <laughs> Next, Teach the, teach the villagers how to fight. Recruit someone who can instruct them. A, um... Smart... Tactician. Statistician? Not the same thing. A smart tactical nuke would also not be great. <laughs> To teach. To teach with. <laughs> um. A. How about a. Special forces. That works. Hmm. You can teach. <laughs> In Um teach. <laughs> teacher <laughs> How about a smart No Recruit someone who can teach us how to fight A smart special forces person <laughs> A military officer could drill us in combat tactics. Oh, that makes sense. General. <laughs> there we go. General knows what to do. Okay. Better. That works. Conquistador style. Nice. Now recruit someone who can infiltrate and s infiltrate the enemy camp and spy on them. 
Okay, now we need the special forces person. <laughs> Sam Fisher. <laughs> special forces. Hmm. Do as I command! That wasn't the right thing, but sure, that was close enough. <laughs> I got a starlight shard from somewhere there. Okay, well instead of that, how about we just do a um, sneaky spy. Gotta be sneaky. And I put him on the horse, apparently. That way he can get there. Finally, prepared Lily with a weapon. <laughs> Done. Tank. This counts as a weapon. I demand it. Okay, fine. We'll just have the tank here for after the whole small arms thing is done. Um... Machine gun. There we go. Ready. <laughs> no. Horse. You have the star right piece. They are attacking the wall. Attack. Desert Raiders completed. <laughs> they had absolutely no chance <laughs> none whatsoever <laughs> my statue is a bit lifeless won't you help sure living statue that's not good it is now a golem and so lifelike Bye, Golem! <laughs> the sculptor's like, Wait! Did it mean that literally? <laughs> hmm, what's going on here? Grave robber and a cleric. Help me summon a plague to scare off this grave robber! The power of a cleric. Sure, can do that. Let's go classic. Locust swarm. Locust. Cool. Close enough. Attack! That's that's a lot of locusts. A plague upon you! Ow! No. <laughs> you are out of your you're out of your league, locusts. I promise you that. <laughs> In fact, go away. No like locusts. Oops. Real quick. I should set myself offline on Steam. <laughs> Flaming insect wings. They can burn this one. Bye. Pretty sure you're a sphinx. Yep. Giving out some riddles, huh? Help me solve this riddle. What goes on four legs in the morning, two at midday, and three in the evening? I actually know this riddle, and it's uh, a very good riddle, one of my favorites. I'll give you a little bit to think about it. Go ahead, pause the video, think about it, see if you can figure it out. I'll give you a few seconds here, that way you have a chance to pause the video and think about it. Okay. Ready? A human. Riddle of the Sphinx. Now play as Maxwell's brother, Chase. You do look like an explorer type. And you may be wondering, Syndral, how does that make sense? Ah, well, the it's not an actual time when it said morning, midday. It's periods of their life. Morning meaning early. And a baby crawls on all fours. Midday, we learn how to walk. You know, middle age, we walk all our life. And then in the evening would be late in our life. 
uh, a lot of elder people use a cane. Two legs and a cane is three. So there you go. Four, two, and three. A very clever riddle. One that I really had to think about the first time I heard it. My weather changing device broke. Help me impress the meteorologist by creating some unlikely weather. Oh, so like here. <laughs> Where I live. <laughs> sure, I could do that. You're in the middle of a desert, huh? Snowstorm. Unlikely weather. <laughs> See, got this. <laughs> All right, Lily, I hope you had fun there. Let's head to the tomb of Onomatopoeia. Whee! Welcome to the tomb of Onomatopoeia. And there's a grave robber again, and some really weird hieroglyphics. Ah, oh, look at this hieroglyphic. There's a, uh, a uh, story. Peace. That's cool. Don't be afraid. Help me decipher these hieroglyphics. It's a kind baby dragon. Okay, wait here. Wait in magical backpack. Dr. Jones, I presume? Oh. <laughs> um, this slug plus shell equals... Snail? Mm. Ancient wisdom. You can now play as Maxwell's brother Tiberius. Nice. Dressed up as like the Roman. In a Roman outfit. That's awesome. Okay. For uh, the archaeologist who wishes he was Dr. Jones. Um. Decipher tool. I could try. <laughs> Magnifying glass. Petrified heron, petrified tiny backhoe, petrified good sized frog, petrified flame bird. Decipher, huh? Hmm. How about I could pet it alive? <laughs> Hmm. It may not be working because we scared him away. Frog and a flame burge? Hmm. I have to think about that one. I honestly don't know. Let's continue through our journey. We'll come back to that one. Up we go. This trap is dangerous! Put something sticky in there before I lose an arm! Well, I guess we should help the cat burglar anyway. <laughs> something sticky, huh? Hmm. Jam. Jam. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Didn't mean to walk forward. Jam. Okay. Giant jam. <laughs> hmm. Um. Okay. Not jam. How about. Giant slime. As in the material. Shipes are very smart. Now they can't do anything. 
And you, what did you take? A coat hanger? Okay. Oh, look! It's the uh, magical pencil and the uh, the book. The notebook. And that looks like Maxwell. <laughs> Interesting. Grave robbers have stolen our furniture. That's true. We just saw that. Can you give us something in the same condition as what we have? Ancient table. Petrified. Uh, okay, so. Ancient. TV. It's a really old TV. It needs to match our curtains. Of course it does. Well, that's interesting enough. Old chandelier. Now they have ancient TV. Are you still? Okay. Hmm. I need a way further up. Back down we go. You're still here with your ancient coat hanger. Um, hi, alien. I need to get home. Help me contact the mothership. Oh, we can do that. Satellite. Satellite. Sorry. Do not attack it. <laughs> Bye! And there they go too. Bye! Going home. Sure. <laughs> Let's go! Oh boy! Did I accidentally click attack? I probably accidentally clicked attack. <laughs> it's just a little dragon. It likes to test out its uh, fire breath. <laughs> We're gonna have to go the other way. <laughs> Which is why I made it speedy, so it's not as slow. Still scared. Here. If I am unable to correctly predict the future, Pharaoh will have me buried alive. Caliph, huh? Well, we could give you a crystal ball or something, but I will give you uh, something much more powerful because this is the past. Have the internet. What, he could look up what's going to happen? I think it's a correct answer. <laughs> no? Okay. Crystal Ball. Professional second guesser. <laughs> and snow? And somebody slid down. <laughs> sure. Still missing one other than uh the person down there. Everybody's scared. Don't be scared. Nice, I promise. Cobweb. But there's still another shard somewhere. Hmm. Well, Let's go ahead and do the Starite uh, mission here. The making of a mummy. Help the mortician create an eternal mummy. Sure. Wow, this place is currently being excavated. <laughs> This is a terrible idea. <laughs> Hi. You found a uh, really cool hat. Headdress. Headdress. Help the mortician make a mummy. First, put someone of high stature in the sarcophatron. It's not a sarcophagus anymore because we've wired it up to all this machinery. <laughs> um, sure, somebody of high stature. Well, we need a pharaoh. Which I misspelled. Has a name in it. Pharaoh. 
Inside. There we go. Next, add something for the mummy to be wrapped in. Um... How about... Rich cloth. It's a pharaoh. It can't just be, you know, normal cloth. <laughs> Finally, add a compound to use as embalming fluid. Uh, what was typically used as embalming fluid? I don't remember. Hmm. Liquid hydrogen. No, that's not right. <laughs> that was a really cool effect, though. Um... Not in the notebook, that way the time goes by. Hmm. Do you know the answer? Because I don't off the top of my head. <laughs> but that's okay. That's what the hint system is for. And I like that this that's in the game. To help those that, you know, don't know. And that's what will help the kids out, too. I need to use a compound that will preserve the mummy. Preserve, huh? Honey. <laughs> no, I didn't think so. <laughs> That'd be funny, though. <laughs> it was really funny. Vinegar? No. Hmm. I don't know, Lily. I'm stumped. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully the last hint will tell us. Preserve. I, I don't... I don't know. <laughs> Luckily, I've only gotten stumped a few times throughout the selfie. Try putting formaldehyde. Ah, that's right. Thank you, Mortician. Formaldehyde. There we go. Hit with the giant hammer! That'll make it work. Or explode. Um, hi. <laughs> it's a mummy with some shades. I'll just take this. It's okay, mummy. I would be confused too. <laughs> 63 star rights. <laughs> Okay, there's still two shards here. I'll figure that those off screen. And I'll probably put them at the beginning of the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a lot of fun. After we get those two starite shards, our next place to uh, follow is we'll take a break and head up here to the Camel Case Oasis. So again, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you had a lot of fun. Until the next episode, I'm Cinderay9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone. <laughs>